So a lot of people misunderstand the role of cortisol in the body. There's a lot of people who really fear cortisol, but cortisol serves a very important role in the body. It's a fuel mobilization hormone. In fact, in resistance trainers, it's perfectly fine to have your cortisol go up while you resistance train. Short-term rises and falls in cortisol are not gonna affect anabolism. They're just simply there for fuel mobilization. In fact, in a study from McMaster University, they looked at different hormones, including cortisol, IGF-1, growth hormone, and testosterone. The hormone that was associated most with muscle growth was actually cortisol. Now this isn't because cortisol is anabolic, but simply because the workouts that are most effective at stimulating muscle growth are typically gonna be really difficult, create quite a bit of muscle damage, and raise cortisol due to the energy demand. So don't fear cortisol, short-term rises and falls in cortisol are not gonna be catabolic for your muscle mass. They're also not gonna make you store excessive fat. Now, chronic elevations in cortisol can be problematic, but you can have those assessed with a blood test. One thing I find really ironic about uh, some people who do contest prep is they worry about resistance training for more than an hour because they've read that cortisol goes up after an hour, and then they do two hours of cardio a day. So uh, again, short-term rises and falls in cortisol, not a big deal to worry about, but if you're a bodybuilder and your goal is to build as much muscle as possible, what is specific for your sport is resistance training. You should really be spending more time resistance training than you are doing cardio if you're doing it right. Learn this and more in my course, Training the Physique Athlete.